South Africa is the place in the country that we're coming to near. That was my impersonation of a South African. Not very good, but hey, that's where we're coming to next, viewers, on our list. So this is our fifth beer in our series, if you've been following thus far. I thank you. If you're just skipping through these videos randomly, then you might want to start from number one again. But anyway, um, we're coming in then to South Africa, or South Africa, and uh, this is a well-known beer in South Africa, and it's called Castle. Um, I don't know an awful lot about this at all, hence why this is uh, partly new to our series that we're doing. Uh, it's won some medals, surprise, surprise. So as we as we know, some of these medals aren't particularly good. Um, but we generally find that you know the beers that are won medals generally overrate themselves, and therefore they don't really produce that good. But anyway, nevertheless, it's won a gold medal, and it's won. If I can just see that. The Brewing Industry International Award 2000, along with some others there. But you can just see them there. The middle one there being the Brewers Award. So this comes in at 5% and is from South Africa. Or should I say South Africa? Whatever you want. I kind of like the South African accent. But there we go. Um, the castle cap there, just very basic, nice and gold. Woo, shivers in the light lovely stuff right then and um, the pour very good I must say very good you can see there slow carbonation uh, not a great deal of carbonation but uh, yeah it's quite slow the head is kind of okay I'd say it's like a, a thin I don't know a thin Thin foamy head, I guess. I don't know. I can't really say, but uh, yeah, that's probably what I'd say. Thin sort of foamy head. So if we zoom out a little bit, you can probably see what I'm getting at. If I do that, then you can probably see a bit better. So that's the head there for you. As you can see, I'm only putting my hand behind it so you can see the head. By the way, because it's on a white background, so you can't see it. But there we go. Quite a good head then. Right, this comes in at five percent. I must add, I, I don't think I mentioned that, but I'm going to mention it again. It comes in at five percent. I want to smell. <laughs> okay. This then is um, easy, easy smell. Um, you're going to laugh at this, but it smells of bread. Freshly made bread. I absolutely adore that smell. Um, yeah, it smells of freshly, freshly made bread. With a light citrus, maybe a honey essence of honey, sorts of uh, in the in there. Yeah, slight honey, citrusy smell. It smells of fresh bread, and I'd say quite a bit of yeast as well going in there. Yeah, there you go. There's the carbonations again for you, just to show you. But yeah, so yeah, it smells of bread and honey, light citrus, and lots of yeast. So, without further ado, I'm now going to venture out and try this. I'm looking forward to it. I've never had South African beer before, so first time for everything, as we do in this series. So, cheers. Ooh, okay, right. Yeah, it's not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, straight off the bat, it's got a, it's quite a bitter beer. It's very light. It's a light, watery beer that's uh, quite bitter, quite dry. Um, I would say as well that the finish is quite bitter, so it's got a, a bit of finish as well. Which, uh, as, as you know by now, anyone that views all these videos, um, I'm not a fan of it. I, I must admit, I'm not a fan of the bit of finish. It's got a nice sort of mellow, sweet taste as well. Um, the bitterness powers it first, first and foremost. But once you get past that bitter stage, there is a hint of like a, a sweet mellowness to it, which I kind of like. That's quite nice. Um, it is light, refreshing, quite malty, and again, sort of a bit similar to San Miguel, where you get that corn taste 
that sort of essence of corn. Uh, reminds me of like a, a cereal kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like a cereal taste. Not too bad, but um, I wouldn't say it's nothing special. Quite refreshing, I suppose. Quite watery as well, so yeah, not too bad. No ideal for the heat. But um, yeah, I'm not too fan of the, the dryness, but uh, there we go. That's really all I can tell you about this. I know it's only been short and brief, but uh, do check out our other videos and scroll down, obviously, and go through them um, to find out, obviously, better videos that I've done for these. But uh, yeah, come to the scoring, I'd give it a six and a half because, again, it's not nothing really special. Um, the only thing I can really say about this beer, it's nice and refreshing, which I like. I like the mellow, sweet, light bitterness as well that comes through, but the downside is I don't like the overpowering of the bitterness, and uh, I don't like the um, sort of malty thing as well, but other than that, not too bad, I'd say six and a half from South Africa, so not too bad at all really, quite average, or just a little bit above average really, so yeah, till next time, check out the next video in the series, and uh, keep the comments coming. Don't forget to subscribe. We want to see more subscribers, people. Uh, we want to see more comments in a discussion box as well. Let us know any beers that you want reviewing and we'll do them for you. So don't be scared to confess and uh, we'll do what we can for you. So until the next video in the series, keep watching and stay tuned and see what we bring you next time. Thanks for watching.